guys uh, I just came back from the Big Ben trip uh, you probably would have seen the videos on my off-road and uh, all the other stuff uh, with the guys it was a fun trip <laughs> and uh, we learned a lot to doing off-road on the old old road which was basically I would consider uh, you know next level higher up than the regular stuff I've been doing and everything was going all right and uh, towards the end of it I got a little overconfident uh, in fact did some you know had to do a power slide too and everything was fine but just before the last couple of corners you know I didn't focus and I went off the side of the road on a berm and landed up <laughs> the bike landed in the front of it so the upper crash guard actually got a little bent and uh, some of the fairings and stuff got a little uh, you know, uh, scraped and stuff. So uh, I filed an insurance claim and uh, I'm here at uh, uh, the BMW of North Dallas. I'm gonna take a look at the bike. Uh, you know, the problem is there's so many, you know, stuff outside. If it gets scraped, they have to replace everything. So hopefully they can get it fixed. Uh, if not, uh, I gotta see what I need to do. But, uh, you know, I'll be more careful next time. The upper crash guard probably needs to be a little stronger, I think. But uh, other than that, uh, it was a fun ride. <laughs> I'm surely getting back uh, off-roading again, just uh, as soon as I get the bike. So I will uh, go ahead, go inside, take a look, and then uh, we can take a look at the bike, and we'll go from there. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey okay, guys, uh, they just told me that the bike is totaled. Yeah, it's a pretty sad feeling. <coughs> And then uh, each of those parts needs to be replaced. It's forever. You know, anything which is just minorly thing, they want to replace. So it's going to be a huge expense just to replace everything. That's pretty sad. Uh, you know, I'm not sure that I would get a 1250 or 1200 GSA again because you know uh, I'm, I'm going to be dropping the bike and doing all kinds of stuff. So. We'll see, we'll just take a look at the bike and we'll go from there. Okay, talk to you guys later. Okay, here's the bike. Yeah. There was a little bit of damage here. I guess this crash guard basically just moved back a little bit. So it fell on the front here. So kind of fell a little bit off the air, I think. That's why the whole thing got moved back. So I'm kind of disappointed with, uh, you know, the amount of damage. I guess they just want to make sure that everything is okay and the bike absorbs the damage. Yeah. But the engine is fine, everything looks fine. For uh, the untrained eye, it seems pretty straightforward, looks good. But, uh, you know, some cosmetic damage here. So if I have to keep the bike, I probably just need to replace the cat crash guard. Some of these fairings need to be adjusted. And there's a bracket broken here, I think, which needs to be fixed. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's where we are. I love this bike. It's a fantastic bike. It's just that, uh, you know, maybe... Uh, I'm just willing to throw it around a little more than normal people, but uh, yeah, I might eventually get a GSA, but now maybe I may just look at the 310 so that I can have more fun on the dirt without worrying about it. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Yeah, great job. I'm gonna miss you. Okay, take it easy. You look good, buddy. You look good. I bet somebody else is gonna grab you, and you're gonna be all fine. Okay, so here's the bike, 2019 1250 GSA, ice gray, we got the headlight guards and the radiator guards will come in later on.
but I guess I need that if I go off-road. Those are the only two things I added on this guy. Because this is the ice gray and uh, it's low suspension. And that's why the seat comes in black color, which is what I like. So it's perfect. So I like it. Looks good. Just like the 2017. So just be careful. And uh, treat it with a lot more care. Because uh, they are fragile. <laughs> I mean, they're good, but you know, I don't want to, you know, you know, throw them around and uh, having to fix it. Anyway, that is good. I'm excited. Another adventure starts with this guy. Probably need to name this, but we'll talk to you guys later.